Hi everybody, um, I wanted to discuss the uh, way certain YouTubers seem to uh, separate themselves from the behaviour of their subscribers, their fans. Uh, Sargon recently told me, when I criticised the behaviour of his subscribers, he, in a nutshell, said he can't be responsible for other people's actions. Now, I agree to an extent, I don't think you can be, but if you're running a YouTube channel and it attracts a lot of people who behave in an unpleasant manner, um, you do have to ask yourself um, what kind of content are you creating which attracts those kind of people, and um, how, you know, how does that reflect on you? Uh, because if I was making uh, videos and I was attracting people who were transphobic, homophobic, racist, xenophobic, Islamophobic, anything like that, misogynistic. If I was attracting anyone with any of these sorts of prejudices, I'd want to take a long, hard look at my content and see, ask myself, how, how am I, how am I making con this content? How is this content attracting these kind of people? How am I not making myself clear enough? And, you know, I might want to maybe stress to people that, um, you know, this is not actually, you know, if there's a possibility for a misconception, should we say, I'd want to make it. Whenever I do videos that are critical of Islam, I always make, take a short amount of time to make it abundantly clear um, I'm not in any way expressing the sort of views groups like the EDL have, or groups like UKIP have, or groups like the BNP have. I always want to make it just abundantly clear that's not the angle I'm coming at from, and that I clearly don't endorse any of those kind of groups. Because although I like to think I take a nuanced and balanced approach, it can still, it's just worth sometimes drawing a very clear division between yourself and people you don't like. It's the same if I were to make a criticism of feminism, for example, I would always make it abundantly clear that I, um, I was not coming at it from the same angle as MRAs. I would always make it clear that's not the kind of um, not the kind of approach I was taking, not the and not what was motivating me. Um, if I were to make a, a criticism of anything to do with secularism or any of these sort of groups or humanism, I would always make it very clear I'm not coming at it from a Christian fundamentalist point of view, you know, I'm not sympathising with that side of things, etc. So I think it's worth sometimes just making yourself clear, or making the effort to try and make yourself clear when you make a video or when you write a blog or anything else, so as not to attract the sort of people who might superficially appear to agree with you. They might look at your content and very easily get the wrong impression that you were expressing the sort of views they they believe in. Um, the fact that a lot of people won't bother to do this, even when it's pointed out to them, and even when it's abundantly clear that their channels are attracting people who are misogynistic or racist or homophobic or whatever else, um, doesn't exactly speak well of them. Um, I mean, someone, someone like Thunderfoot, for example, would have to be absolutely blind as a bat to not notice that his channel attracts some incredibly unpleasant people. Now, I think Thunderfoot is an incredibly unpleasant person, but I, I would say he seems to at least try to not come across as one. Um, he fails spectacularly, as we all know, but he does at least seem to try and phrase himself as though he's not a horrible human being, compared, let's say, to some of the people in his comment section. Um, these people just flat out come out with the misogyny. They don't try and dress it up as something scientific or... Uh, something rational, they just flat out come out with their hatred of women. They wear it on their sleeve. Now, Thunderfoot would have to be absolutely blind to not notice that. And the fact that he won't draw a clear di distinction between himself and these people does say a lot about him. Because if that was me, I would want to distance myself from people like that. If I realised my channel was attracting people who uh, held really horrible views that might might possibly because they are superficially similar to some of my views this is it but not actually similar when looked at in detail I'd want to draw a clear distinction I'd want to draw that line I'd want to say like I was saying about criticizing Islam or something I'd want to draw a clear line between myself trying to make a rational um, criticism of, of Islam compared to someone making a paranoid 
uh, xenophobically motivated criticism of Islam, uh, which is what we call Islamophobia, to all the doubters. Um, and that I, this is what I mean when I say I think it speaks volumes about people that they won't take a certain amount of responsibility for the behaviour of their subscribers. So no, you are not responsible for the actions of other people, not entirely. Um, but the fact that you're attracting these people, uh, creating a space for these people to congregate, you are empowering them to extent. You're also giving them material to share. If groups like Stormfront or A Voice for Men or whoever else are sharing your videos, and both these sites have shared Thunderfoot's videos, um, you've basically, that means you've given them material to use in spreading their message of hate. You've given them the material they need, so they don't have to make it. You, you've given them something that they can share, and that's why they're sharing it. So, can people be held responsible for the actions of others? No, not entirely. But it would be ridiculous to imply that people aren't influenced by other people. That when someone performs an action, it isn't down to the influence of another individual. And I think there's a certain responsibility when you know that you're an influential person to make clear to not abuse that influence and to try and make sure you're always using that influence positively. Uh, someone was arguing with me recently saying, oh, Th you know, Thunderfoot doesn't ask his subscribers to go and harass people he disagrees with. He doesn't ask them to go and relentlessly down thumb their videos and um, fill their comment section with hate. And I just think that's going to be a naive thing to say. He doesn't need to do that. He knows that such devout people will do this out of sheer blind loyalty to him. You know, and now there are other YouTubers who've engaged in disputes with other YouTubers, and they've often handled this kind of thing responsibly. So anyway, let me know what you think. Goodbye. Day seven. Okay, here we go. Found the door first time. For a change, okay. There we go. I wonder if I press down on there. Ooh, I saw a gap. Ooh, I think I've got it. Yeah, that is a. What the fuck is that? a mouse or a hamster or something or I think it's that thing whatever the hell that is no.